what is going on guys in last video we have created the news application as you can see over here we are getting all the news from the api and we have designed the ui so that all the news will be visible in the list along with the images so in this video we'll add the category buttons like business entertainment health science so that when we click on that category it will load the news of that category also we'll add the search icon so that we can search for the news so let's get back to the project so first thing let's go to documentation and as you can see over here we have categories business entertainment general health science sports technology this you can send as a parameter so how we will implement that we will add some buttons over here in the horizontal and when we click on that it will face the news of that category first thing what we will do in the home page above this lazy column we will create another compose which we will call as categories bar let's say and we will pass news view model so we will create this composable we can collapse this and here I will create another composable that is categories bar. We don't need modifier, we just require news view model. So now here we will design the UI. So first thing we want categories. What are the categories? Business, entertainment, general, health, sports. We will write this in a list. So let's initialize a list. Categories list goes to list of. We have business, entertainment, general. So we will put general at first. We will use this general for default one. Health, science sports entertainment so technology so we have created this category list now we'll create a row over here and in that row we will add those buttons as a list so here for this categories bar composable what we will do we'll make a row let's add some modifier to modifier dot fill max width and we'll say horizontal scroll remember scroll straight so that we can scroll vertical alignment let's say alignment dot center vertically now in this row for this list what we will do categories list dot for each we'll get single category over here let's say category we'll get category and with that category we'll create a button so let's say button on click we'll handle in some time and we'll pass text the text will be category if you run now let's see if it is visible in the ui you can see the buttons are visible and it is scrollable as well so we can add some padding over here let's say let's pass modifier as well so modifier equals to modifier dot padding around 4 dp run now we can see we have the padding as well and we can click this as well now on click of this we have to get the news that is of that category so how we can do that if you check the documentation you can pass this as category parameter so here what we will do we will go to view model and change this method so we will make change to this method so that it can take category parameter so what we will do we will do category string it will take the category if it is not passed we can pass general if it is passed what we will do here in the request top headline request we are passing language also we will pass after language let's say category that is the this category so in the form of category we are passing the string which will be general by default if the category is not passed otherwise it will send the category so now in the home page on the on click of this button we can do view model news view model dot fetch news top headlines and we have to pass category from here it is general by default now we will pass whatever the category we have clicked so category if i run now you can see the news is loaded for general if i click on business the business news are loaded entertainment you can see the entertainment news health science same way sports and technology so in this way our category buttons are working and if you click on general it will load the general news in this way our category buttons are working now we'll implement search icon over here so that if we want to search for any specific news we can search now first let's create the ui so first thing what i will do i will just create a small search icon over here on click of that search icon it will open the text field so for that what i can do let's create variables over here like let's say search query whatever user is searching let's say by remember mutable state of let's pass empty string for now import it also we'll create another variable that will be let's say is search expanded this is for the ui we'll pass the false value because we want to show the search text field only when the icon is clicked so this will help us to identify that so by default it will be false that means it will show the icon and when we click it will be true and it will show the text field so here what we can do in the row before the category list is created here if is search expanded else will do something if it's search expanded will show something else will show something so in the else i will show just icon icon button on click what we will do 
we will just do each search expanded equals to true that means when you click on the icon it will be true and it will show the text field whatever we will write over here here we will do icon which will take the image vector icons dot default dot search icon and description let's say search icon so it will be visible by default if we run now you can see search icon visible when i click on it it is gone because we have not written anything over here so here we will write the text field so we will do outline text field a value will be we have created a variable that is search query and on value change we will do search query equals to it so this will be visible we can put it in separate line if i run now if i click on search icon you can see outline text field is visible and we can scroll as well here we can search but let's design it so that it will look good let's pass modifier modifier dot let's give padding around 8 dp height let's make it 48 dp border 1 dp and let's say color dot gray and shape will be circle shape and we'll clip it as circle shape now if i apply change you can see this is looking much better now and we can type here something we have to add a trailing icon over here once we write something and it is completed we can click on that so that it will face the news with that query so for that what i will do i will add trailing icon on this outline text field so trailing icon it will be the same icon button i will copy this paste it and here on click of that we'll make each search expanded as false because we have searched already and we'll face the news so how to face the news we have to make changes to this method so you can see over here we can pass query what we will do we will not do top headlines we will do get everything so top headlines will be limited but for everything it will search for everything so for the search query we'll use everything so let's create another method over here Let, let's copy this entire method and paste it below and we'll call it as fetch everything with query so this we will do and here we'll pass query which will be a string now here if you see we have top headline request builder but we will do everything request builder and we can't pass a category we should pass query so q is the query and query is a string that is query and then here in the get top headlines we will do get everything so we are using now this api that is everything api by passing the query now this method we will use whenever we search for something so here in the trailing icon when we click on that first we'll check either user has typed something or not so let's say if it is not empty search query is not empty so if this text is not empty then what we will do news view model dot fetch everything with query and we'll pass search query that's it so we'll type something it will be stored in search query and we can fetch everything with query by passing the query let's run and test now now we can click on this so that it will be expanded this icon is also visible if it is empty it won't do anything if it is not empty let's say we search for trump and we click on this you can see the news related to trump go to search let's search for india you can see the news related to india so in this way you can search the news as well as you can click on any category it will load the news of that category so that's all for this video in next video what we will do whenever we click on any news it will navigate to a different page and it will show the full article of that news so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye